horses approaching the starting gates. From the rail out will be Armbrose Surrender with Island Fantasy, Shark Street Partners, then comes Arts Conquest alongside Cypress Creek, Grin from ear to ear, CPW, Artistic Freedom, and Union Guy will start from the far outside post nine. The field is entering the stretch for the start of the 1999 Hoosier Cup Final. $400,000, the richest race in the Hoosier State. Here they come. And uh, they're off in the Hoosier Cup. From the outside, Campbell will send out Grin from ear to ear for the lead towards the inside. It's Ombro Surrender. Island Fantasy getting away in third. Next is Shark Street Partners fourth. To the inside, Racing 5 Arts Conquest. Down to the inside, Cypress Creek. Then at the rail of CPW, the trailer, Artistic Freedom and Union Guy. Pacers reach the first quarter, 27-3. and three. It's Grin from ear to ear. Part of the entry with a lead of length and a half. Armbro Surrender on the inside. And here comes Shark Street Partners. Pierce is on the move early here as he sends Shark Street Partners from fourth. He is now third, now second. They come to the half, and Shark Street Partners up alongside Grin from ear to ear. Armbro Surrender on the inside races in third at the rail and fourth. As they pass the half, it's Island Fantasy coming to the outside. Arts Conquest races in fifth. Halftime was 55 flat. Tight knit group and on the outside. Joining the outer flow as they race to the far turn, Cypress Creek. Saving ground on the inside, CPW, but Hawk has no racing room. Artistic Freedom follows him. The trailer is Union Guy. They come to the top of the stretch. Grin from ear to ear is turning back to challenge. Now of Shark Street Partners. And moving up three wide is Arts Conquest, Cypress Creek. Moving up four wide, they're out to three quarters at one, 22 and three, and they're on their way home with the Hoosier Cup. It's Grin from ear to ear with a lead to the outside, Arts Conquest, and here comes Cypress Creek. Now the entry is one, two, and three, and Island Fantasy looking for racing room. Down to the inside comes CPW. Coming down to the wire, it's Arts Conquest. Outside, Cypress Creek and Arts Conquest will win the 1999 Hoosier Cup in 151 to fair. Finishing a second, number five, CPW, third, the 1A, Cypress Creek. Finishing fourth to complete your trifecta, number three, Island Fantasy. So your trifecta combination here in the night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, turning your attention, track side of the winner's circle, here is the winner of the 1999 Hoosier Cup Final. Starting from post position for this evening, the One Arts Conquest, a son of the Arts Place, out of Shy Devil by No Nukes. Home of the Brittany Farms of the Daisy Acres of Kentucky and New York. Brett Pelling is the trainer. Eric Lentford, the winning driver. Big night for Lentford as this is his fourth of the evening. Fourth winner of the night for driver Eric Lentford. And the fourth as well of the season for Arts Conquest. Second by neck in his elimination. He does take out top honors in this evening's Hoosier Cup final in 151 and 2 them. In the winner's circle, the winning connections of Arts Conquest, as well as the president of Hoosier Park, Jeff Smith, and executive vice president and general manager of Hoosier Park, Mr. Rick Moore. With me is Hoosier Park's leading driver and all-time winningest driver in the history of the track, Eric Ledford. Now, Eric... You had Arts Conquest coming from post position four. Did this race set up like you thought it would this evening? No, I thought there'd be a few more levers uh, from the middle. Uh, John made the front awful easy, and uh, we kind of need a little bit more pressure up from up front. Now, you did pull this horse going down the backside. Basically, at that point, you got a way in mid-pack. Were you pretty comfortable with your position at that point? Yeah, I wanted to follow uh, Ron Pierce's horse. He raced fantastic in eliminations, and uh, I had to flush him out of there. He did go on to the front end. There was a little bit of a speed duel. He did not clear to the front end past the halfway mark. You were gapping off of his back. Were you just trying to bide your time before you moved Arts Conquest into contention? 
at that time I was. I really didn't expect him to go quite as hard toward the front than he did, uh, but it ended up working out. Seemed like that you had to chase this horse quite a bit coming around the final turn. Yeah, he's a bit lazy. Uh, he races the whole mile, but he, he's not very aggressive at all. Going into the, the elimination, coming into the final strides, you did have to, to drive on him pretty hard. Any concerns coming into the final that you might have used too much energy out of him heading into this final this evening? No, not really. We raced him real conservative for the eliminations. Uh, we just raced him a quarter of a mile there. And coming down to the final strides of the race, were you pretty satisfied? Did you think that you were going to get to the wire first? Uh, no, not really. They was all around me. Uh, everybody had pace, so... Uh, you know, the horses hung in tough. He did hung in tough, hang in tough. That's Art's Conquest, winner of our Hoosier Cup here this evening at Hoosier Park for driver Eric Ledford, all-time winningest driver in Hoosier Park history.